All right, next up, we've got uh, Indiana-Purdue, the old oak and bucket, one of my favorite rivalry game nicknames, if you will. Uh, the old oak and bucket here for Indiana and Purdue. Uh, we've got Purdue three point home favorites, 50, 51. The total. I, look, keep an eye on the quarterback situation because look, Purdue last week with no Hudson card at quarterback and uh, that offense really had a tough time. They couldn't get anything done against Northwestern, but it looks like Hudson card's been upgraded to probable uh, here for this game against Indiana. And look, is, is he great? No, but he's a lot better than what they had. Uh, I'll tell you that right now. Purdue just had no offense last week, 23-15 loss. They have Hudson Card back, makes their offense better. Still don't love their defense. Prior to the Northwestern game, they had given up 30-plus in four straight games. And Indiana's offense, like we say, was Soresby. You know, we have seen this offense get uh, better here uh, in recent weeks. They're running the ball better. I think this is just more than anything here. You've got a 3-8 and eight team and a 3-8 and eight team in this game. Let's see some points. That's probably the way I would approach this game. Indiana's offense has been better since they've changed play callers. And if Purdue has Hudson card back at quarterback, I could see them moving the ball a bit on Indiana as well. So over 50 is probably my favorite approach in this game. What do you think here, C-Mac? Maybe you're right with card in there. And Purdue's defense hasn't been great. Some of their early games went over. In Indiana, most totals were, were in the 40s. They have the crazy game uh, with Illinois and get right back to 24-21. I think that's going to this that's what this game is. Just a field goal type game and Purdue has just been awful at home. The last few years this team just can't win games at home at all and they've been horrible ATS. So I can't there's one thing I can't back Purdue. Purdue's just no way can't do it. It's just uh do you want Indiana here and I don't know if I get to the window with them. Yeah, that's a fair point. I mean, it's uh, what you know what? I would lean probably a little to Indiana plus three. I mean, Indiana has been good as an underdog the last few times. Like if you look at it, the uh, Minnesota game, Michigan, uh, or actually, no, it was uh, no, it was uh, Illinois, uh, Wisconsin yeah, and Purdue. Yeah. They had three straight covers there as underdogs and they're the dog here in this game. So I'd probably lean Indy, uh, the Hoosiers a little bit here uh, at plus three. Uh, in this game. Yeah, it goes without saying for sure. You want to check the weather in a game like this Midwest in November. Maybe you're going to get some weather. Yeah, 36. Issues. It looks like mostly cloudy, 36 and light wind. So it doesn't look like we're going to have major issues here uh, for this game. So I do like the over lean Indiana as well.